Okay. When you first take a look at this question, you might be thinking that this is just a pretty standard finding the inverse question. Yeah, I agree. But let me tell you, if I put this question on the test, I think a lot of students will freak out. By the end of the video, you will know why. So let's get started. Our f of x is this, which is the rational function. And to find its inverse, we follow the four steps. The first step is we write f of x as y. So we have y equals all that, negative x plus 3 over 2x plus 1. First step, and we got our first point. Now, second step, and that's the idea behind the original and the inverse, is that we switch x and y. So right here, we will have x, and that's equal to negative. This right here will be y, and then plus 3 over 2, and we will have y here, and plus 1. So that's step 2. Now step 3 is we are going to isolate this new y. And this right here takes a few more algebra steps, but just do the usual thing. Here we have an equation with fraction. Let's just multiply the denominator on both sides. So I will multiply 2y plus 1, and we'll do that right here as well. This and that cancel, and right here I will just distribute the x. So here we get 2xy plus x equals this, which is negative y plus 3. Now I'm just going to move all the ones on one side and the x on the other. So I will just plus y here, plus y here, so they cancel, and then minus x here, minus x here, so they cancel. And we have this right here is just 2xy plus y equals, let me write down minus x first, and then plus 3. Okay, so far so good. Here, on the left-hand side, these two terms, they both have y, so we can factor the y out. And we will get 2x plus 1. And that's equal to negative x plus 3. Finally, to isolate this y, we can just divide this on both sides. So y equals negative x plus 3 over 2x plus 1. So that was step 3. We got the y by itself. Now, the, the final step is we'll just write y as the inverse notation, and that's pretty much the answer. So, ladies and gentlemen, our f inverse is equal to negative x plus 3 over 2x plus 1. And with that, we are done. Ready? Do you feel like a little deja vu? Hmm, did we do anything wrong? Why don't you guys tell me in the comment? But anyway, that's it though.